It's somebody's birthday today. You guys say happy birthday to Hamster Bear. Of course, when you're saying this, it won't be his birthday anymore. But happy birthday to you. You guys, we have a <laughs> we have a super eventful day today. We're starting off with Starmont. Starbucks, and then we're hitting up that Walmart. Walmart world, and then we're gonna go home, and we're gonna make some Philly cheese steaks, and then we're gonna fucking play some games, probably. You guys don't even know. Birthdays and choir are lit. Anyway, this line is forever. This line is forever. Or where we live is a small town. It is a small town. There's so many. You just sounded like Donald Trump. A small town. It is a small town. So many to motherfucking register. people live here. So many what? So many people live oh, here. Oh, yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So many people. So, like every place has a line. Every place. Every place. Like, oh, you want to go get something to eat? 40 minutes. Better off making it at the house. <laughs> Facts. Indeed. Oh, what? Oh, shit. Okay. I haven't had coffee in like two days. I did <laughs> order my birthday present, too. Excited. That's what there. happens when you hit 30. You start buying your own gifts. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of shit I want. True. Same with me. Like, <clears throat> what do you get for someone who has everything that they want and need? Uh, like, it's like, what do you, what do you want for your birthday? I already have it. First world problems. Literal first world problems. But, but like the, I, we're very grateful. Yeah, absolutely. For all of our. Mm. Everything's. What I want is I'm gonna get later on this year. Oh, and I may get the pause. You guys, see my I'm down six pounds. <laughs> She's like gonna be saver. skinny before you know it. What a cream saver! You are a cream saver. You're down six more pounds. Yes, that's awesome. I'm down six pounds altogether, not six more pounds. Oh, that's still awesome. That is awesome. I may get a PS5. I don't know. It depends on the lineup. None of the games look interesting yet. Except for Spooder Man. Just because Miles is in it. Hi guys. So we're about to go on a hike. We're going to a new place that we haven't been before. But I'm so excited. This little town is full of so many like cute surprises like we were like how come we've never seen this place like and since quar and everything and all of that it's so empty so <laughs> we found this beautiful little gym and we're super excited to go to it so i'll see you guys oh hubster's birthday you guys didn't see any more footage other than i believe starbucks because we just spent the rest of the day with each other, just hanging out off of our phones, social media, like everything. So we just enjoyed each other's company, played a bunch of games, watched, caught up all on The Flash, and was up until probably like three o'clock in the morning. But we just had so much fun, and it was so great. Hubster thanked everybody for the birthday with wishes the birthday wishes the birthday who wishes on social we just had fun and i love hubster so much because he's such a simple kind of man and you don't have to do much to make him just really really happy and crazy thing is is it took me years to kind of realize that in him that he's just easy going just chill because i will try all the time to be like let's go do this don't you want to go do this and he's like no i just want to hang out with you <laughs> and i get it now i mean obviously i've gotten it for years but i mean it took me years to get there to get here so i just can't wait and he's made me see the simplicity and just 
hanging out with the one you love and especially during this time it's taught me a lot so I'll see you guys at this new little hiking trail hi um so as you guys seen so I'm obviously having a good hair day <laughs> no but I just took some photos because my birthday is coming up soon so I just did like a quick little mini at home photo shoot <laughs> as you guys know i don't know if i actually recorded this but the place that we were supposed to go for like it was um a state park so you had to reserve to be there and they were sold out that day so we are going to be going this weekend so i'm super excited about that like that clip before like was last weekend um yeah, so a lot has just been going on and so many transitions are happening. And I just, I think I need to just do like a full on sit down video talking about everything. Maybe a get ready with me or maybe just talking. I don't know. But so much has been happening. So much good so much good there isn't anything bad that has happened just kind of unfortunate but mostly everything is like all positive so i'm about to go on a walk i'm going to wipe all this makeup off and probably just put my hair back or maybe i might wear my hair out like this depending on how hot it is outside it's been really cool lately so we shall see but I'll wipe off this makeup and maybe I'll talk about it on my walk or something. I don't fucking know, but let go. So I found this little cute, hold on, cute little area, this little chair. Um, but I thought I would just sit here for a minute and I guess talk to you guys a little bit about what's been going on. So, um, a few weeks ago, I made a video asking about what could we do to help Juliana with her um, super high anxiety and everything. And the wind's kind of blowing, so I don't know if you guys can hear me that well, but. So things took a turn for the worse, and we just, it was one of those situations, like I don't know if anyone has ever um, felt this or gone through this before, but it was one of those things where it kind of just felt like we were foster parents until the right person came along for her. And she didn't really feel like she was ours, like, and I hate to do this, but it's kind of like my dog Bluebell that we had, who we lost to Parvo um, about five years ago. And I never, I never got over it. Like that was my baby. I couldn't see my life without her. That was my absolute baby of everything. And I never found that connection with Juliana and I hated that I kept trying to compare her to Bluebell because they're not the same at all but I met a woman who was just absolutely insanely crazy about Juliana and I had seen her a few times here at the park and I kept running into her so randomly and I would come at different times of the day and we got into a conversation about her and her depression and how what she was going through and this any other and but she always seemed super calm and super you know happy I guess I'm just gonna start walking again super happy when I had Juliana around her and so she just Juliana took to her very easily as well. So I asked her, do you want her? <laughs> and it's so random, but I just felt this weird connection with this woman. 
and she was super, super nice. So she asked me she, for my number because she wanted to ask her husband first. And then she called me and next thing I know, Hubster and I are driving to her house and meeting her kids and, you know, meeting her husband and everything. And she gave me all these wonderful candles and everything. And she couldn't believe that I was just letting go of Juliana for free. But I didn't need anything but to know that she was going to be going to a super loving home with kids people that could really give her the time and attention that she needed and that she deserved at the time because it just wasn't there for us. So now Juliana is safe and happy and at home with an amazing loving family and they've been, you know, sending me photos and everything, which they don't have to do, but I kid you not, guys, these are the kindest human beings I think I've ever met on the planet. But it felt so right in my soul and in my spirit to let her go to someone who was her, where she belonged. And the woman said something so incredibly amazing to me because I was telling her how guilty I was feeling for feeling this way and thinking like this. And she straight up just told me, like, it takes a strong mom <laughs> to realize what she has to do that's right for her and her baby. And she just said so many amazing, nice things. We had great conversations, but Juliana is now rehomed in a fabulous, amazing place with amazing people and amazing children, and we couldn't be happier. So I'm gonna do a couple of miles and then I'll come back. I'm probably gonna put my hair up though. Oh, also, it was so, it's like we can kind of laugh about it now since it was like almost a month ago, but when I told Hubster, that I was feeling guilty for something and that I needed to talk to him. And I told him what I was feeling about Juliana. He was kind of like, not kind of, he was literally like, thank God, I thought I was the only one. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to feel, you know, like bad or anything. And I didn't want you to feel bad. He was like, because you, have been giving her so much of yourself and you've been doing so much for her and so much with her that I just assumed that you guys were like thick as thieves and I was like no I just didn't that's just my nature that's that's what I do I go full force into things even if I'm not feeling the right way about it and I should have known better. And Hubster told me also that he still isn't over Bluebell. And that was extremely hard for him to even say. And I mean, we were both so connected to her, but yeah, I was just thinking about that. But I feel so good, good. And I'm happy with our decision. But yeah, so. I'll see you guys in a sec. I'm making some beyond sausage. I call them brats because that's what they taste like. And of course, yes, 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 yes. My favorite. And the butter. Yes. And I've also got some fries and tots. Tots are for Hubster, fries are for me in the oven and that's going to be dinner for today so one man army i already started eating this buffalo sauce with some fries so good you guys we're here I told you guys you were gonna be. Look at that. 
Wow. Okay, so we're here. Come on, you guys. You guys are going to see a whole bunch of like fun, cute little, not little, but visuals. Okay. Jeez. But, oh my God, this is so beautiful. Okay, bye. Fucking beautiful. It's right there. You guys, this place is stunning. We just bought some. Had to get a hat. Hester my, got a hat. My bald ass head didn't get cooked. <laughs> Hester got a hat. I got some bracelets. This, is, this bitch is nice too. This is incredible. Wow. That's crazy. So, like, look at this. You guys. Are you serious? True. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Look at this. It's stunning. Okay, that's it. We're moving here. <laughs> but oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So we found this cute little opening. I feel like, like every stop is breathtaking. Oh my God, like it's breathtakingly stunning. Like what in the crap? Look at that. Look at my cowboy. Yes, you guys, I know my hair is getting bigger, but it's fine for now. When I'm thinking, I brought my hair tie, so I'm going to be twisting it up soon. But it's stunning. Oh my God. I'm so glad we did this. You guys, we are having so much fun. I'm sitting up on this rock upstairs down there. He's getting our food because we're gonna probably sit down and eat something a little bit, but it's so gorgeous, so peaceful. I probably shouldn't be recording myself walking down this, but I'm gonna do it anyways because I'm smart. But we love it here. I don't wanna leave. We're gonna come camping out here soon. So be on the lookout for that. Okay. But yeah, so this is the place I was telling you guys about earlier in the vlog. Or maybe it might be the other vlog, because I don't know if I'm gonna include this in the other vlog or if this is just gonna be separate, like on its own. But this is the place I was telling you guys about that we were coming to that we had to make a reservation for. And now I get it. I get why you had to reserve to come here because it is absolutely breathtakingly stunning. Every drive through this thing is stunning. And we haven't even started hiking yet. No. Like, we're going to um, a cave area to start hiking, but it's incredibly beautiful. So cool. 
so I put my hair in little mini buns. And we're about to walk into what looks like a cave. So, see you guys in a men. You guys, we're heading into the cave. Hey guys, so funny little story. Not really funny, it's actually kind of crazy. Not crazy, but uh, just listen. Serious. Just listen. So we park in this parking lot and then we start heading to this trail and there's this group of ladies on the side and they're like, hey, are you going in there? <laughs> We're like, yeah. And they're like, how much water do you guys have? And I was like, we have two of these. And she looks at me and she goes, can I give you more? And I was like, uh, um, sure. We will never say no to water. And these are 16 <laughs> cups. <laughs> so she hands us four bottles of cold ass water. I mean, I agree. And I, they're being cautious, but she was just like, we've had to rescue a lot of people today. And I was like, Oh. Okay. It says it's 112 out here and 140 on the canyon floor. Yeah. It doesn't feel like 112, I'll tell you that. But we were just like, wow. Hi. So we we're doing this trail. And um, I'll let you guys know how crazy it is. Stunning. Stunning. Do you love this? I do. <laughs> Definitely need a better book bag, though. Yeah. <laughs> so gorgeous. Chop them up. Yes, guys. I have water in between my boobs. <laughs> And it's definitely hot. I think the flies are oh. attracted to my coconut oil. Okay. Because it's literally all it's over my fault. body. <laughs> and I keep they keep jumping on my arms and on my forehead, which is where I put it earlier today. <laughs> At like 7 a.m. Literally. But you guys, this trail is stunning. It's beautiful. Look at how gorgeous, you guys. I'm so in love here. It's stunning. It's gorgeous everywhere. Wow. Just fucking beautiful. And this is the trail we're on. We're on right there is death. <laughs> trail? Death. <laughs> Be careful, folks. <laughs> <laughs>